Three Eye Atlas. Everybody's suddenly starting to talk about it. Why is that? If you guys been following me, you know that I talked about Three Eye Atlas a couple months ago in a UFO compilation video, and I told you that you should be keeping your eyes on this thing. And why did the government shut down NASA's live stream? We have so many things to talk about, and I have some cool footage to show you that you might not have seen. I'm gonna give you all the updates that you need to know right now. The government shutdown happened right at a time when 3i atlas was going to be the closest to mars where we could actually observe this thing the government shutdown is stopping us from getting pictures of this thing y yes yes that's insane that's insane humanity has an object coming close enough that we could observe it for the third time in our recorded history. And they have a blackout. Nobody can look at it. Nobody can access it. How convenient is that? Just take a moment to let all that soak in. The third time in our recorded history. And the government shuts down, stop the public from observing this right at that time. Do you really think that's a coincidence? And what about the other countries around the world? Because we're not the only country with space agencies. China, Russia, Europe. If this is truly the third interstellar object that we've had come into our solar system that we could observe, you'd think that other countries would be broadcasting tons of live footage about it. It would be all over like mainstream news, but everybody seems to be staying silent. Everyone except for one, because there was a video that leaked from the European Space Agency. There's a ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter orbiting Mars, and it captured footage of 3i Atlas. Now take a look at this. We have an object that looks like it's just flying through the stars, whatever. But here's where it gets really, really interesting. The footage doesn't look that spectacular at first when you look at it. If we slow this down and zoom in, there are some strange things happening in this footage. It makes some very strange shapes. It changes shape as it's moving. If you look, you can see lights around this thing in a square shape turning on and off as this thing is moving. It's weird looking. And I don't know why it's weirder than other comets. But it That's does why seem like it's going, loop, loop. it's like yeah. rolling in a weird way. It's what it's releasing is the weird part. And there is some explanations for why this thing is making these strange shapes. What scientists are saying is that it's due to gases being released. In other words, this thing is just flying through outer space, farting and doing backflips. But to me, <laughs> it looks like it has blinking lights on it or it's just changing shape or formation. I don't know, but I don't really look at enough of these to know if that's what comets normally do. But here's the strangest part of all. This is like the newest update. Scientists are now saying that 3i Atlas is flat. 3i Atlas, one of the most puzzling objects to enter our solar system ever. The object is super flat and it emits a visible glow even when sunlight is minimal. What makes it even more mysterious is that the light appears to come from within rather than from being reflected. Another unusual trait of 3i Atlas is self-illuminating pattern. The glow at the front of the object suggests that some internal energy source may be active. This could indicate either an advanced reflective composition or a form of energy output we have never observed before. So when we look at all the things together that scientists have been saying make this comet so strange, now they're saying it's flat, it's made of mostly nickel, there's no iron traces in it, it's been emitting a strange glow. They're saying that it's turned green at times. They're also saying that it didn't have a tail behind it, it had a tail in front of it for a little while. It's been changing course every four hours or so. And the reason that they're saying it's changing course is because the gas being emitted is like making it flip flop as it's moving around. And if you didn't know, it's moving like 137,000 miles per hour. Insane. Well, the weird part is coming from the same part of the universe where the wow signal came from. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. That's fucking weird. The wow signal was a transmission that was picked up in 1977. <laughs> The 
They picked up a transmission coming from deep space that lasted for 72 seconds. And the transmission replicated something like a radio transmission. So to get a radio transmission from outer space, from deep space, it had to be coming from somewhere. The person that discovered it literally wrote WOW on the transmission printout, and that's how it got its name, the WOW transmission. This is where it gets interesting. 3i Atlas is apparently coming from the same direction and the same part of space that that transmission was received in 1977. That's kind of odd, because if I point up right now at the sky, there's a million different directions to point, okay? Standing on different places in the Earth, there's a million directions that we could point out into space. What are the chances that the direction that 3i Atlas is coming from is from the same direction that the WOW transmission was received, what, 50 something years ago now? That's kind of weird, right? And then you have people like Avi Loeb, who everyone is calling this guy crazy. They're saying he's a nut job. They're dismissing him. But he's been saying for so long that there is a strong possibility that this is some sort of technology. This is some sort of craft. There's too many anomalies with it. 3i Atlas could be a nuclear powered alien spacecraft. He also said recently that there has been other objects detected entering our solar system uh, following or near or next to 3i atlas now that sounds kind of crazy and a lot of people dismiss him but here's one thing that i will say this guy is a scientist i believe he has harvard degrees he knows his stuff he's obviously studied this for a very long time and this is what he's saying but then we got to look at the billionaires like the elite billionaires within the last five years these guys have been building underground bunkers and this is confirmed we could go through the list. I mean, we're talking Mark Zuckerberg bought a huge property in Hawaii and he's been building these underground bunkers. That's confirmed. The owner of PayPal, I forgot his name. He bought land in New Zealand because he said it's the best place to prepare for the end of the world or whatever. The list just goes on and on. All these rich elites are buying property in places that they believe could withstand an end of the earth event and they've started doing this within the last five years so it makes me ask myself do they know something that we don't know do they have access to some kind of information that the general public doesn't and if so what is that information and it's really starting to remind me of a lot of the things that we've been fed on mainstream media and streaming services like uh paradise that's one show that came out recently where everybody's living in this underground bunker like trying to normalize life down there underground but it was all a lie the second one is uh don't look up i feel like leonardo dicaprio was perfectly depicting avi Loeb, who's been trying to tell people you know this thing is strange it's not just a meteor there's something off about it it just there's too many things that don't make sense happening right now but then this is where i have to stop myself and i have to stop you because we have to talk about what jeremy corbell said a couple months before 3i atlas was discovered he literally went online and made a public statement about how there's this big lie coming they're going to tell you that there's a mothership coming this is the lie this is literally what the man said and he looked terrified when he made the statement i've already talked about that in previous videos I'll just play a short clip for you again in case you haven't seen those. All indications, like all of them, is that that lie is going to be that there is a craft slowly making its way to us here on Earth. He was ready to make pee pee in his pants. But that 100% is the lie you are going to be told. You even got a date. People been whispering a date. So is this the lie that he was talking about? Is this why NASA is blacking out because they don't want us to see that maybe there's nothing there? And if this is some sort of lie to make people worry and like, oh, you know, this is something that we all got to come together on to figure out what is the reason for the PSYOP? What is the reason for the lie? Is it to have one world government? Is it because our government is not in control anymore? We've lost power a long time ago. Like, what is the reason for that? Here's what I do know, and this is where I'm just going to leave this video at right now. 3i Atlas has been discovered. It is gigantic. 
there's anomalies about it. It has strange lights flashing and stuff. I mean, it's hard to tell what that is. It seems like the elites are worried and NASA isn't like, how? How are they not all over this all day, every day, trying to study it? How are they gonna block the public from being able to check this thing out? There's something strange going on here, guys. I've told you that before and I'll say it again. You're gonna see a lot of other YouTubers talking about it now. You're gonna see a lot of people on TikTok talking about it now. 3i Atlas is gonna be a topic of conversation because it feels like we're being shut out. Most people don't wanna go to NASA's website and check that shit out on a regular. Most people don't. And the one time that everybody wants to go and look because there's something happening for the third time in humanity, yeah, we're gonna just turn that off because uh, government shutdown. <clears throat> yeah. What? What? And wait, can we just talk about the rover on Mars for one second, please? Most of you guys watching this video probably don't even believe that we landed on the moon, right? What on God's green earth makes you think that we have successfully landed on Mars and we have a rover, we have the technology sitting on Mars with the capability of live streaming 24 seven from another planet when we can't even get a clean live stream from Washington DC. Hmm, that Wi-Fi on Mars must be like 100G or some sh because what the f I have to make a confession to you guys and I'm sure that some of you feel the same way. I just wanna know that I'm not alone on this thought. So please chime in and let me know if I'm the only one that feels like this. I want it to be aliens so fucking bad. I really, really do. And people are like, oh no, you don't, you don't, because you know, what if it comes and it's not what you thought? Let me just tell you something right now. I am so fucking tired of things being the same all the time. All we have to talk about that's exciting these days is politics and entertainment gossip. Like I could give two fucks about a fox hair fucking fake hair underwear that Kim Kardashian just released. I don't care about shit like that at all. I want something big to happen in my lifetime while I'm here. If we're gonna make contact with something else out there, let it be now. <laughs> I want that so fucking bad. And if you feel the same way, let me know because you know, the mundane stuff, the day-to-day -day news that we have right now, like I, I just don't care anymore. Nothing is exciting about any of that. 